ass house. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, man. Oh, man. Another day, another show. Man, it, 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 it don't stop. It don't stop. I just keep finding new and creative ways to hate. It won't stop. Now, I had this idea a while ago. I already had the thumbnail made and the, um, the whole little end screen. But, you know, I just got a little bit more motivation between keto and what Ren said in the comments the other day. It just gave me more motivation to just hurry up and do it faster. You know what I'm saying? So, hey, let's get into it, man. The first episode of Cribs, we got... Keto Abashi with his luxury Atlanta crib tour. 50 dope restaurants and bars inside, inside his crib. Oh, fuck. Let's get it. Somebody on YouTube asked me, why are all your plugs along the baseboard? It's very simple. Let me just show you. Don't come on here explaining yourself going out sad in the first couple of seconds. Somebody on YouTube? <laughs> Somebody on YouTube? Man, ugly ass couch? Nigga, fuck your couch. Fuck your couch, nigga. Fuck your couch. Oh, boy. We in for a treat. We got this white Lego ass ta styrofoam ass table. What the fuck? Nothing on it. Like, man, this is about to be good. Barber chairs on your motherfucking counter? Like, what the fuck am I looking at? There's no room to put it anywhere else. The it, it, it's always room. You should have got this skimpy ass goddamn room. What the fuck you mean? No room to put it anywhere else. Nigga, I see walls here. I see wall. I see mold right there. You could have put some sockets to cover up some of that mold right there. That weak ass vent ain't doing shit. You could have put it right there. It's no room to put it nowhere else. Like, nigga, why you bought a goddamn... It's 50 restaurants and bars inside, but ain't no room for sockets. Get the fuck out of here. Long-ass windows, man. This house stupid as fuck. This is glass. You want them to put them on... <laughs> you want them to put them on the ceiling? Nigga, yes. That would have made more sense. Bruh! Welcome to Atlanta where the players play. And we... What players? Oh, what play I see this is the thing too. I'm about to move to Atlanta. I will be there soon because I'm telling you. I run into you, you gonna have to do something to me. Cause I'm walking right up on you, Keto. Yeah. So I look forward to seeing you in person real soon. We ride on them things. You guys, you get a crib tour today. Man, dirty ass window. You need some goddamn Windex too? Nah, I done sent you to Dollar General with a whole shopping list for mold. Now I gotta get your ass to Windex too? As you see, that is 75. That's Highway 75. We overlooking the highway. Wake up, make sure the bright skies, clear the sun. Clear skies, it look like we got four o'clock traffic on the north side bound. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck I'm saying. Then we got this right over here, this is where it all goes down at. Might as well give you a crib. Yeah, yeah show me where it go down at. For the building, would you guys believe it? It is 50 restaurant and probably eight bars inside the building as well as shopping, dining. Oh. Inside the building? I thought this is like luxury crib tour. I thought you had it inside your goddamn, oh, so you don't own the building. You just got one room inside the building, but you want to throw 50 dope restaurants and bars inside, but not inside your shit. Just, just outside somewhere in the building. Oh, you bitch ass nigga. Like, like, fuck this nigga, man. Got me amped up. Like I'm about to see some shaky ass rocks. Um, I love it, man. It's a blessing. I thank God. It man, you doing all this showing outside, my nigga. I didn't come here to hate on outside. Show me this goddamn crib. Every day, every morning I wake up. Uh, that's that view from that side. That is great. Yeah, so traffic. I always look at traffic when I wake up. We're going to do a crib tour. I'm going to take you through the building as well. But yeah. Man, where your cover at, man? Slippery ass sheets? Like, what the fuck is your cover at, my nigga? Disingenuous ass goddamn dresser. Them motherfucking pillows don't match shit. What the fuck is going on? It's like mold in here too? Yeah, my room, you have to excuse it, but yes. Yeah, all you showing is outside the windows. The room, same thing. Yeah. Believe it or not, I actually keep my bed clean. It don't look like it. Wrinkle ass bed. You got that motherfucker tucked in with no cover on it. Yeah. Washing my other blankets right now. 
Yeah. That lonely ass lamp over there with no bulbs in it. Embarrassing. Why the fuck is that goddamn mirror just linked on the ground like that small ass TV? What the fuck? Boy, you got a sliding door to go to your bathroom? Please slide that door. I gotta see. This side right there. We got, I don't wanna go too far in there, but we got. Why don't you wanna go too far in there, Keto? It's some bullshit. You got the lights off in that motherfucker. Yeah, go ahead, man. Here we oh. go. Uh, you want to slide that door? Yeah, that's typical. Typical. Yeah, it's definitely typical. That low ass toilet, like what the fuck? That kindergarten ass toilet? Um, <laughs> no, go back in that motherfucker. What you doing? Yeah, go ahead, man. Boom. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> my nigga, turn the lights on so we can see that bitch ass goddamn jailhouse shower and shit. That little smooshed ass tub in the corner, that shit weak as fuck. Now the best thing in there is that goddamn countertop, but it ain't nothing good on top of it. Little bitch ass mirror and a hair dryer, but we know you ain't got no hair. That's just stupid. That's typical. Typical. Boom. So now, gonna leave Atlanta. And we finna go downstairs. Hold on. This it? This it? Your crib tour is like a bathroom, a bedroom, living room. That's it. That's it. That's it? So now we about to go outside of my crib when I pay for and, and, and what's mine. We gonna go into other parts of the building and I'm gonna show it off. I gotta finish making my coffee first. Oh shit. You gotta pan this way. So these, yeah, oh shit, there's stains on my stove. Yeah, yeah. These flowers right here were given to me by Raven Simone at the Brat Baby Shower. And I oh boy, let me let, <laughs> let me name drop some names so it can make sense why I got these big fruity gay ass flowers. Big as fuck, don't match shit. Fake as fuck, sitting on top of my flat ass countertop. Like, like, let me explain it. Name drop. Man, Jada Kiss gave me this goddamn phone case. It don't match that. It don't matter who gives a fuck, my nigga. Names don't mean nothing. Let Lisa Ray or whoever the fuck gave that shit give me them flowers. They still gonna be in the closet some goddamn where. I don't give a fuck who gave them to me. I'm not about to present that shit. I'm a man. What the fuck I look like? I'm keeping them for the rest of my life. All right, boom, right there. See the kitchen. I love the little island deal. This is where it all go down. I, I don't. I don't. It's like you writing some weak ass raps. You don't want to be on a plane flying over Paris. Yeah. That, that, that's what you're doing right there. That's where it all goes down. Right here. Studio right in there. We're still working on the studio, bro. Oh, hey. Go on in there. Let, let's see the work. Come on now. Everybody always write on this chalkboard right here. Everybody always right. It's like two people wrote on that motherfucker. Why are you trying to exaggerate shit? It's two goddamn people wrote on that motherfucker, and one of them is a little girl. So what's he talking about? Everybody always want to write on it. Shout out to everybody who write on this chalkboard. All right, boom. You too. What up, baby? Hey, shout out to you for the plaque. You know, I gotta stop hating for a minute. A hundred K, that's a big deal. Shout out to you. But Laura Bush and Michelle Obama, a politics ass nigga, don't tell me you got a picture of yourself on a bottle of lotion. What is that? Who is this nigga? What do you do? Boy, look how civilized I am right there. <laughs> Boom, right up in here. Studio is so not done. It's garbage as fuck, man. Ugly ass lights, weak ass vacuum with, with no dust in it that don't work. Like, come on, man. Speakers crooked as fuck. <laughs> man, this is like the worst display of studio I ever see. What's them two big ass pipes up there for? Like, I, I would never have no two big ass pipes in my goddamn studio, man. And you just love this view. Like, you, I guess you just never gonna put no curtains, no blinds, no nothing on your windows because you're so proud of this weak ass view. Yeah, that's why I don't film in here because it's so discouraging. I gotta hang things from the ceiling, these 20 foot ceilings. So it's kind of hard. I gotta hang stuff from them. Hang something from them pipes, my nigga. Bruh, I don't know who did this. You know who did it. Who did this, bruh? It, it was the brat. The Brett did it when she came over. You know, she wrote chalk on a chalkboard and she came in here and she did that. Who did that, bro? I'm feeling some type of way about this. No, you're not. No, you're not. You remember your manager, Matt, who, who had a mouth that you like? You never met a man that had a mouth like that. You remember Matt? 
You and Matt did that shit. But anyhow, this guy sold me a MacBook Pro, and he told me he sold it to me for four hundred dollars. It felt just like a MacBook Pro, and if you look close, this nigga sold me some wood duct tape. That's one of the best schemes. He had it uh, fucking shrink wrapped and everything. That was the quickest four hundred dollars I ever lost. You are a fucking jap. You are fucking lame, nigga. You get scammed and shit. I wish a nigga, what you do about it? That's the question. What did you do about it? Nothing. Yeah. If I deserve to be talked about, especially that, that was the dumb. <sighs> move out for me. I do. Not quite, but it's up there. Agree. Man, furry ass shit. Like, what animal is that? Why don't nothing in your whole house match? Nothing match. Nothing makes it. Why is it a fucking snail shell sitting on top of a goddamn nightstand? All right, let's see. Let's go around the building. Spin the globe. Boy, rusty ass globe. That, 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 that's the most spin you can get out that globe. Come on, man. If you don't put some goddamn oil on that globe. Boom. So I, I bet it landed on Paris, didn't it? Didn't it? Just, just tell the truth. It, it landed on Paris. Where you going? Where we land on. Atlanta. <laughs> All right, boom. So now we finna. Let's go downstairs. I'm gonna take you in a building tour, man. We are gonna go in the building. I'm gonna. Nothing match. Try to make it fast. Random empty ass Easter basket down there. This is possible. There's a lot of cords twisted everywhere. Stuff to see in this dry ass wood building. So <laughs> let's do it. And I look at this. Yeah, all the chairs in these motherfucker different color. What that black chair just go? I left Melly Mills notebook right there, bro. It's iconic. K dot. <laughs> Nigga making me mad. Shouts out to Jack Spade. Jack Spade also live in this building as well. So he lives here with me in uh, separate floors. Boy, you want to fit in and be cool so bad. How many name drops did you do this video? You saying people, I don't even know who the fuck they is, man. Bitch ass lights. Like that, that's the most light they can give off. Yeah, them bitches garbage. <laughs> But he lived. Y'all know that's my buddy right there. Oh my God. Well, I can't wait till today. We out. Nigga, you 58 years old. You be riding a scooter. Out of there. Downstairs. Some nice carpet. Lobby. I come down here. I'm not show too much. You might as well be paying for a hotel because that's what this look like. Like, this is a crib tour? No people crazy online. They cool, they cool as hell over there. They are not cool over there. I immediately come up the escalators. Boy, them shallow ass goddamn steps, my nigga. You gotta put one leg down and one leg up. Why the fuck they so skimpy? That shit high than the motherfucker. What it is? <laughs> Hey, what it is? You doing all right? You finally doing something? You finally doing something? Yeah, fuck you, ugly ass bitch. I'm messing. With you. <laughs> That's my dog right there. She cool as shit. She look like one. Boom. Look back at it. You's a gay motherfucker. Everything you say is gay, my nigga. Look back at it. Damn. The lady was looking at me. She wanted a young keto. Oh, she wanted a young keto. Young keto. Bro, it'd be so much stuff going up on in here. Wait, what's the stuff going on? Nothing going on. What's going on? See, one of the reasons I moved here is because it's literally performing arts. It's like I live in a performing arts theater. It's always big balls, galas, and everything like that here. So that's one of the reasons I moved here. Like, if you look here, I can just walk in and I can come into a big concert. Tell me this doesn't look like somewhere like a Rihanna, BTS, Tupac. I was gonna perform here. Beyonce. Man, stop that shit, man. It looked like logic of being that motherfucker. Why are you doing this, man? Actually, they do. I mean, they all be in this building. So I just figure I might as well. Okay. All right, I'm done, man. I I, I gotta skip to see if I can see some more. I gotta skip to see if something else enters because I'm done with this shit. This is the most boring. All right. Have a good one. Let me see. Yo, blow your nose, my nigga. Fuck out my ear with that shit. They have oxtails, things, and everything like that. I really love them. I probably eat here the most. Um, and it's cheaper. Great wraps. 
Man, this is an apartment tour, though. This is supposed to be an apartment tour. Oh, man. I, I can't even call this episode one. This is like the pilot episode because this nigga don't even have a crib. This is not a crib. It's like one room, a bathroom, and, and a bunch of bullshit. <laughs> it's the worst display of cribs I ever see in my life. Just like the worst episode of cribs ever. Everything fucked up. No decoration. Shit unfinished. Uncoordinated. Shit crooked. You got pipes coming through your wall and shit with shit hanging on them. Sockets on the floor. Your view garbage, windows dirty, you know, the walls molded, but they get your bed ain't got no covers on it. Pillows don't match shit, just bright orange for no fucking reason, my nigga. Your toilet, like, you got a toddler toilet. Oh, man, this is embarrassing. This is the worst display of living. And I, I hope you paying $400 a month, because anything else is, 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 like, unsanitary at this point. But... Shout out to Keto, man. It's like, it's looking like you're not going to come back. You made it clear that you're not going to come back. You thinking this is getting back at me or something, showing this crib, my nigga. My nigga, this room I'm in, I would rather live in this goddamn one room than that bullshit as apartment you stay in. That shit dumb as fuck, man. I, I'm not fucking with it. I'm not fucking with it. Other than that, it's a lot more cribs I've seen online. Actual cribs, you know. Actual houses that might be worthy of me putting a um, episode one by it. We'll get to those soon. Yeah.